I'm Tevin Costoso, and this is ICTV News. WICR hosted a Women in the Workplace Equality panel on April 1st. The panel had numerous noteworthy guests and kicked off with a fireside chat between WICR President Kate Adriani and Anne Fialka, a 98-year-old woman who has flown with Amelia Earhart. Kate Pierce led a panel with ESPN writer Katie Barnes, photographer and entrepreneur Sarah Layberg, and entrepreneur and former sports reporter Laura Banke. Brian Moran spoke to IT executive Marianne Lamato and Tricia Richo from A&E Networks. Dr. Bridget Cooper, an entrepreneur author and TEDx speaker, gave the keynote address. The women discussed their careers, overcoming adversity, and promoting inclusion. On April 2nd, three professionals from CBS came to Wyona to speak about their path to their current jobs at CBS. The event included Vladimir Dutier, Antoinette Clark, and Christopher Simon. ICTV's Simone Guidry has the story. Simone Gidgey here with ICTV. I'm in the end zone where Iona College just held an event where CBS representatives came to the college to talk to students about how to break into the broadcast industry. I started as an intern at CNN and my internship hours, you know they always tell you you only have to work like 10 or 15 or 20 hours a week. I was working 40, 50 hours a week. I would go to work, our show was on at 3 p.m., I'd get to work at 6 a.m. and I'd work till 5. And then I'd go to school, I was in grad school, I'd go to school from 6 to 10. And then I had an all-day Saturday class, 9 to 5, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And so Sunday was my only day off, but I had to do all my homework and I had to do all the reporting, local reporting that they required. And did that every week to entice people who make decisions as to whether or not they're gonna hire interns into a real job to let them know that I was serious. I wasn't just there just to be exposed to people, I was there to work. Follow your heart, find your passion, and then go after that because there's nothing worse than being at work every day and really not liking where you are and not liking the people you're with. My internships were so pivotal, pivotal for me figuring out where I wanted to go. Um, number two, alumni. I feel like right now with LinkedIn and social media, you can always get in contact with alumni, and alumni is usually much more apt to help undergraduates. Um, and then number three, when I was in college, and I don't want to date myself, but right now, all of you guys coming out of school, there's so many more jobs and different positions that were never even available when we were out. Thanks, Simone. On April 10th, Mass Comm Department WICR, the Ionian, and we here at ICTV hosted another panel, which included professionals from the different mass comm majors, including guest Matt Splain of the Journal News, Brian Donlin of CNBC, Dr. Barbara Delelu, better known as Roxy, of Radio 103.9, and Jim Tobin from River Communications. On March 11th, ICTV had its third annual film festival. Numerous films were entered, with prizes given out for first, second, and third places. Congrats to Will Tedesco, Stephen Bissillon, and Julia Fabrizio. Filmmaker Cesar Martinez, currently a fellow at the Jacob Burns Film Institute, made an appearance to screen his documentary, En Memoria, talked with the students, and served as a guest judge. Thank you to Cesar for speaking with us, and thank you to everyone who submitted a project or came to the festival. At the spring weekend reveal, Gavin on Stay Up secured rapper Kyle, known largely for his song I Spy, as a performer for this year's spring weekend concert. We went out to gauge students' reactions. Um, I'm pretty excited. I don't really know a lot of his songs, but I think it'll be mad fun. I think he has a, a really good stage presence. I've seen him live once. He's really, really good, actually. I've never heard of him. I'm like, all right, well, I think it'll be fun. Everyone should go. <laughs> Check it out. All right, how do you feel about Kyle performing for Spring Weekend? I was pretty surprised. I mean, it is kind of a big name, and, you know, I think there's more to come from him, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about the whole thing. Um, I'm excited to go to the concert with my friends. <laughs> I have no clue who that is. <laughs> uh, I don't really know much of Kyle. Um, I know he has that one song, so I don't know what the plan is. You know, I never heard of anything else besides that one song. So I'm actually very excited, and not a lot of people are too excited about it. But uh, I'm a big fan of all of his music. I, I like the way he's kind of like goofy, the way he laughs, like when he, in his music. Um, should be good. I heard his live concerts are actually really entertaining, so uh, should be good. Um, to be completely honest, I don't really know who he is. Um, but I feel like I wouldn't have really known who anyone was that they were performing. I think it's gonna, it'll be fun. It's gonna be whatever anyone makes of it. And who knows, I might end up really liking him at the end of the concert. Okay, so I think Kyle is an excellent choice for Spring Weekend. Um, I know a couple of songs on the radio, a couple bangers. Um, I'm personally excited. I think a lot of people in the student body are excited. I think it's gonna be an awesome event. 
Iona held a lecture series called Sex Abuse Crisis in the Catholic Church, Reckoning, Repentance, and Renewal. The event kicked off on March 11th and ran for three days. Speakers included award-winning journalist David Gibson, film critic Marshall Fine, and professionals from a range of academic departments. Catherine Connor was there and spoke with Dr. Christina Carlson after the event, who examined the abuse through a medieval perspective. Dr. Christina Carlson of the Iona English Department is a medievalist and devout Catholic who helped to organize the event. You know, when I volunteered to do it, I, I didn't know what I was going to find. Once I dove into the material, um, I, was, I was really kind of fascinated, but also a little distressed at what I found there, which is, you know, a, a 1500 year history of, uh, you know, the church kind of setting itself up not to have to deal with this kind of thing. Thanks for watching Inside Iona. Be sure to click through in the playlist to watch our sports and entertainment segments. You can follow ICTV on Instagram and Twitter for your fill of Iona news. For ICTV, I'm Tevin Costoso.